The Olden World Written by Tsar Yoshi Chapter 833 Someone has to tell. In the engine room of the Immortal Dream, everyone stared at the spot where Starlet had disappeared. The sword stood, still attached to Jam Jars' apparatus, as black and inert as ever. Shine Spark gave Jam Jars a stink eye. I don't think it was supposed to do that, Jam Jars said, trying to maintain as much innocence as possible. You, Shine Spark said, are going to finish turning this off and then be the one to tell Maple what just happened. And then you're going to write me an essay on why you think it's funny to keep shrinking my crew. Jam Jars gulped. Suddenly, Glimmer appeared in the doorway. I heard something large fly overhead, she reported. Someone who can see really ought to look at this. Harshwater immediately darted out the door. On it! Jam Jars grinned sheepishly, and Shinespark glared until the Pegasus returned a few seconds later. I don't see anyone, she announced, and our lights are obvious. Just a little, she frowned. So who wants to bet we had a fake warning and jumped the gun a little? It doesn't matter, Shinespark growled, pacing out of the room. If you think there's anything to be done about it either way, then look what just happened here. Fix it in your eyes and stop trying to pretend next time could be different. Hostiles, not hostiles. We're all just leaves in the wind. Jamjar stuck her tongue out once she was gone, still using a reverence to mask her surprise at Starlight's fate. You're a bigger quitter than my mother. Nah, she trotted for the door as well. Time to go check out the terminal on the bridge. Niala stopped her with a limp huff. Don't you have Sampony else's mother to explain something to? Jamjar's winced in fuller ears. Look, lady, I've got to work while she's not trying to unplug the power. I'm on a timer here. I'll do it later. Much later. She bolted, and Niala couldn't keep up. Fortunately, Shinespark was standing in the library and hadn't retreated to the bridge, so she had the room all to herself. Terminal! Terminal! Glimmer appeared beside her, and Jamjar's act immediately vanished. Please tell me that was supposed to happen, she said blankly, sitting in the captain's chair. I knew that it was likely, Glimmer replied. Starlight will be fine. Do not let it distract you from your task. Right! Jam just clung to her words like a tree root on a cliff face, solidifying her expression and tapping on the terminal screen. Well, it has power! Now, how do I find everything? Shinespark stood still in the library, not even twitching her ears as Nyala approached. Even if it could be called her fault, Nyala said, that doesn't mean she's a good choice to break the news. What are you talking about? Shinespark dryly replied. Niala pointed down the hallway at the open door to the infirmary, Maple's bed positioned just so where her face was visible, watching them with concern. She's listening. What's going on? Maple asked, raising her voice as much as her damaged chest would comfortably allow. Shinespark growled and marched in. Stall it is elsewhere, she said, too frustrated to stand for any unfinished business. She got absorbed by obsidian. Maple blinked. Shinespark flicked her tail, but could tell Niala wasn't following her. You heard what I said. Oh. Maple looked down. Shinespark stared. That's it? Oh? Maple opened her mouth, but no words came out. Eventually, how do I even respond to that? How does anyone respond to the loss of a loved one? Shinespark sat down, facing to the side. Anger, sadness, denial, bargaining, tears. Don't tell me it feels like a pointless cycle to you, too. What kind of an answer is that? Maple indignantly folded her ears. Are you saying she's dead gone or stuck gone? What difference does it matter? Shinespark stared off into the wall. Maple bit her lip, her eyes starting to well with tears. You're horrible. It's a horrible subject, Shinespark replied, barely bothering with a shrug. They're one and the same. Nothing escapes from that black prison. In the doorway, Niala loudly cleared her throat. Shinespark pointedly ignored her. I am this close to getting out of bed and slapping you, Shinespark, Maple threatened, voice shaky. I know you're upset about Valet, 
but that is not how to tell someone their daughter is gone. Now tell me exactly what happened. Scheinspark stared at Maple. I am off the bridge and doing my part to keep this crew safe. What more can you possibly expect? Starlet isn't dead in Yala by the end, still in the background. I've seen bad ponies get drained before, and I've never seen anything like this. It looked like she tripped and fell inside that sword she always carries around. Whatever happened to her, there is no way to assume anything. Maple gave her a grateful smile, then returned to staring at Scheinspark with a hard look. I don't know whether you're making me more worried about Starlight or yourself, so I'm going to forget uh, everything you said and let you try again. What's going on out there? Scheinspark got up and left. The moment she was gone, Maple's tears resumed. Are you all right? Miala sighed, stepping weakly closer. Yes, Maple whispered. I have cracked ribs, a punctured hoof, thought I was going to die not three weeks ago, and I'm somehow the most all right pony here. Sorry, Niala sat down heavily, folding her ears. I sent her over here because I thought she would be the best one who could relate. Maple shook her head, voice tight. You're forgiven, but what about Starlight? I wish there was more I could tell you, Niala apologized. Jam Jars and Shinespark were fighting, and Harshwater is back and was warning us about something from the other group that I think turned out to be a false alarm, and I was watching the fight and... Uh, Maple sighed. She'll be all right. She has to. She's gotten out of worse situations before. Niala leaned against the side of the bed. If that's what will help, then you bet she will. You just watch. Defeating that Moonglass and whatever just happened... It's going to be nothing compared to beating Windigos or beating that crystal or whatever. And if not, hey, maybe we could help her? Help her? Maple looked up. I'd need to see... What do you mean? If she's stuck in Moonglass, getting her out? She wiped her good hoof across her eyes, sniffing shallowly. Niala shrugged. Well, isn't the whole problem with breaking or destroying Moonglass to get the cutie mark out that... You don't have a way to reattach it to the body and it just floats away? Maybe she'd just reappear and wouldn't need to be reattached. Maple's eyes glazed over. She's disappeared before, though. Maybe she wouldn't just reappear. And we don't have any harmony to break it with anyway. Use a hammer, Niala suggested. How did Shinespark break the moon glass that held her cutie mark in the old brain armor? Maple blinked, her tears banished for now by the idea that there was anything she could do. That's an idea. Where's the sword she disappeared into? I want it nearby. Well, Niala winced. It might be stuck in the engine room, and James Jars and Shinespark were fighting over whether it could be removed. Then I want my bed moved to the engine room, Maple replied, her expression making it clear that this was a condition for her keeping her composure in any sort of state. Please. I want to see where she is and be near her. Niala met her eyes, then saluted with a wing. I can't move it myself, but I will find someone who will. I promise. Then she left too, closing the door behind her. Maple was alone, save for Meltdown and Gazelle. It didn't take long for her tears to return. End of chapter 833